Welcome back, artistic ladies and gentlemen, to another Meta Monday episode in this PTCGO series. Meta Monday is that day of the week where we take a look at competitive decks from the past and a present in a Pokemon TCG online meta, as well as decks that might enter the meta in the future. And today I bring you a Turbo Darkrai deck, Darkrai, or with Darkrai from the Breakpoint expansion. This is an expanded deck and it did really well in the recent Spring Regional Championships in the USA. It did manage to get quite a few top 8 finishes there. And the list I'm presenting you today is actually based off of the lists that managed to get top 8. You can consult these lists at the Pokemon.com website. I will link, uh, I will put a link in the description that will bring you to their website and bring you to the list so you can see for yourself. If you want to skip to certain parts of this video, use the timestamps on the left hand side of the screen or click the timestamps down below in the description. This Darkrai list contains two different Darkrais, the first one from the Breakpoint expansion with the Dark Pulse for a DCE, it hits for 20 damage plus 20 more damage for each Darkness energy attached to all of your Pokemon and coincidentally this attack is going to be the main attack or maybe not coincidentally actually, uh, is going to be the main attack of this deck. We are going to try to attach lots of dark energy to our different Pokemon so that we can hit for quite a bit of damage with the Dark Pulse. He's also got the Dark Head attack, hits for 80 as the base and then 80 more if this Pokemon is asleep. Unfortunately, I do not have any Pokemon in this deck to put my Dark Cry asleep, so very rarely we will go with this attack un unless uh, we have been, for example, we have been lasered and we have been put to sleep, then we can use this Dark Head and hit for 160 total. With the Fighting Fury Belt, we can actually hit for 170. I do run three Fighting Fury Belts in this list to give our Dark Cry uh, uh, 220 hit points. That is more than the Mega Manectric, actually. So that's pretty impressive for our Darkrai EX. Two copies of this Darkrai and then two copies of the Darkrai from the Legendary Treasures expansion as well as from some other expansions from the expanded format. The Dark Cloak ability, each of your Pokemon that has any Darkness energy attached to it has no retreat cost. This Darkrai is going to act as a way for or as a way for us to move our Pokemon around from the bench into the active and back again. But we are also going to attack with it with a Night Spear. Uh, for two Darkness Energy and a Colorless Energy, you hit for 90, so that's a two-hit knockout on most EXs. And then 30 more to one of our opponent's benched Pokemon. So we can actually put 30 on a Shaman and then we can license out the sh Shaman and uh, one-hit KO it with our Night Spear and put 30 somewhere else. On our opponent's bench. Very, very good attack, this attack. And again, with the Fighting Fury Belt, this Darkrai has 220 hit points. Then there are quite a few of the support Pokemon. I run one Evil Tower with the Fright Knight ability. As long as this Pokemon is our active Pokemon, each Pokemon tool card in play has no effect. This ability can be useful in quite a bit of situations. So one of them is if you are facing a Night Marcher who has a Joltik in the active spot with a Fighting Fury Belt. And then we can, for example, just Sky Return the Joltik. I do run two Shamans, mostly for setup, but it is likely that we will use it for Sky Return at some point as well uh, if you are facing a Night Marcher because we don't want to have the Shaman on our bench. We want to get it back into our hand if you have used it because it's such an easy target for the Night Marcher. And then we can hit the Joltik for 30, uh, pick up the Shaman, put it in our hands and promote our... Evil Tower with the Fright Knight and this Fright Knight will deactivate the Fighting Fury Belt on the Joltik, meaning that the Joltik will get knocked out and so we can take an easy prize uh, that way. Another scenario would be where we have hit a, um, a Pokemon with a Fighting Fury Belt for more than uh, 180 damage. For example, if you are in a mirror and we have hit a Darkrai of our opponent for 200 damage, but it has that Fighting Fury Belt attached, we can actually at some point switch into the Fright Knight Evil Tall and then knock out the Darkrai that way because it has more damage counters on it uh, than its hit points uh, if the Fighting Fury Belt gets deactivated. Uh, we can also use the Pitch Black Spear Attack, hit for 60 to a benched Pokemon. Most of the times that is going to be a Shaman or an EX that we want to suffer up so that we can one hit KO it when it's put in the active spot by our opponent. Then one copy of the baby evil tall with the oblivion wing hits for 30, attach a darkness energy from our discard pile to one of our benched Pokemon. Typically this is going to be the Darkrai with the Dark Pulse. 
Then the last darkness Pokemon in this deck is Sableye with the Junk Hunt attack. For a darkness energy, we get to put two item cards from our discard pile into our hand. And this is mainly going to be useful for the late game uh, to get back, for example, Dark Patches and Max Elixirs. And these two cards are the reason why this deck is called Turbo Darkrai because uh, it is a deck based around powering up our Dark Rise and our Pokemon with Darkness Energies as fast as we can. And that is what these two cards do for us. The Max Elixir allow us to uh, get some, uh, attach some Darkness Energies from our deck to our Pokemon if, they, if we find them in the top 6 cards of our deck. Uh, while the Dark Patch allows us to attach a Darkness Energy card uh, from our discard pile to one of our benched Pokemon. And so if near the end of the game we have run out of Dark Patches or Max Elixirs and we direly need them to accelerate uh, some energies onto our Darkrai, then we can just promote our Sableye Junk Hunt for two Dark Patches or two Max Elixirs if we have some more energies in our deck and power up a Darkrai that way or any other Pokemon that we want to power up. Or we could even get back the Computer Search. This is going to be the A spec of the choice in this deck, allowing us to search out any card in our deck deck that we want very very powerful card probably one of the most powerful cards ever printed i would say i do run uh, 10 darkness energies uh, this is to increase the chance of hitting of hitting off the max elixir and also so that we can uh, discard some darkness energies with ultra balls or um Battle Compressor and then get them back with the Dark Patch. Finally, the two last Pokemon in the list are a Hoopa. Hoopa is going to be used to search out uh, the two different types of Darkrai in our deck. And that is not a Darkrai. So the Darkrai from the Legendary Treasures expansion and from the Breakpoint expansion. And then probably also a Shaman to draw into some more cards. Or even the Caldeo EX. Caldeo with a rush in once during our turn. Uh, if this Pokemon is on our bench, we may switch this Pokemon with our active Pokemon. Uh, you might be wondering why is Skeldeo in this list? Well, we already have the possibility to move around Darkness Pokemon with the Dark Cloak ability from this Darkrai. The answer to that is uh, in expanded format. Furbank Laser is quite popular. So what we want to do then is rush in with Skeldeo, wake up our active Pokemon and retreat back into the Pokemon uh, that we woke up. We can do that by attaching a Floatstone to our to our Skeldeo, but attaching a Darkness Energy suffices as well. That's why I only run one one floatstone uh, some decks run zero floatstone but i think the flexibility of having one floatstone can be quite useful certainly if caldeo is prized uh, then we can put a floatstone on a hoopa for example so we don't have to waste our turn attaching a darkness energy to the hoopa if we cannot uh, draw into uh, a max elixir for example dark patch doesn't wor work on hoopa uh, it doesn't work on our shaman either so for those two scenarios floatstone is pretty helpful then let's have a look at the draw support. Uh, three Sycamores, uh, pretty standard. One N, also pretty standard. One Zero Sick to deal with uh, decks like Night March a little bit better. Get rid of that DCEs. Uh, one Lysander to Lysander out the Shaman that we softened up with the Night Spear or with the Pitch Black Spear. One gets his very clutch card, <laughs> mainly at the start of games. Uh, if your opponent starts off with a handful of item cards, you can get his them and then basically leave them with uh, little to nothing useful in their hand. Uh, then one Colorist for draw support, uh, useful against mirror matches for sure, because typically we fill up our bench quite a bit and plenty of decks in the expanded format actually fill up their bench quite a bit so Colores is uh, is definitely a good supporter in expanded one az to scoop up a damaged dark rive for example or a, maybe even just the hoopa if it's stuck in the active spot we don't really care about discarding our energies attached to our dark rive because we can get them back with the dark patches and we can also get back the dark patches with the junk hunt if necessary then for vs seeker for consistency get back our support for Ultra Ball to search out our Pokemon and three Trainers Mail for consistency as well. Finally, one Escape Rope. Uh, again, if our Caldeo is prized, we can use the Escape Rope to deal with um, 
to deal with uh, the sleep from the lasers or we can also use it to deal with Jolteon X if we run into Jolteon X because we only have basic attackers so Jolteon X EX shuts this deck down quite a bit and the escape rope as well as Zero Seek will help us in that matchup Zero Seek to get rid of the DCEs on a uh, Jolteon EX and that's it for the deck analysis leave a like if you enjoy the upcoming battles and subscribe to my channel for more uh, competitive decks but also for more fun decks because I do uh, I do make fun decks on fun Fridays and also on wizard Wednesdays and right now I'm going to look for an expanded tournament and hopefully we can manage to get into the finals of the tournament we are going to battle you can't see this with or in the first round of the tournament with a grass water fire and I believe there also was some darkness in there, so lots of different types of Pokemon. No colorless, so that means no shaman for my opponent. The water could be Octillery. Uh, this might be some sort might be some sort of Vespaqueen Flareon deck, uh, something like that. But with Octillery, that would be kind of strange. Uh, we start off with uh, Darkrai. Go easy, please. He says, <laughs> "I will try my best, uh, but I, I, yeah." This is a tournament, so we have to try to win. Uh, it would be a bit ridiculous if we wouldn't try to win. Uh, we start off with a pretty terrible hand, so we are going to go easy for sure. Um, just gonna leave the save light in my hand for now, see what we top deck. It looks like this is gonna be a, a stage 2 deck, because we see a mill tank in my opponent's active spots. I'm a starter, he says. Powerful friends, it's for 10 plus uh, 70 more if my opponent can get out of stage 2. I am uh, going to discard my Zero Seek and uh, this energy, get that energy in a discard pile already so we can use it with the Dark Patches and I'm going to grab a Hoopa and then we are going to Hoopa for the other Darkrai, uh, the Shaman and maybe the Caldeo as well. Uh, let's see, one Darkrai, one Caldeo, one Shaman, that leaves us with one more spot on our bench. I think uh, that is good because we have the Floatstone here, I want to put the Floatstone on the Caldeo. Uh, we shall bench uh, the Darkrai, uh, the Caldeo, attach the Floatstone. We are also going to attach a Fighting Fury Belt to our uh, Darkrai. And I am already going to bench my Stadium just so I can draw into some more cards. We want to draw in some energies. Um, <laughs> I think my opponent is getting a little bit desperate seeing as though we are having a pretty explosive start here. Another Fighting Fury Belt. Let's put that on our Darkrai in the active spot. Then let's check our... Um, Trainer's Mail we get, let's see, I'm gonna Ultra Ball away, uh, I need to get something I can Ultra Ball away here, I'm gonna Ultra Ball away the AZ, and then I'm also going to discard uh, the Sableye, I'm gonna get out uh, something I don't really need, probably the Fright Knight Evil Tall, I'm going to discard that, I'm going to burn my Super Rod, because I'm going to use the Sycamore, shuffle back this energy and the Sableye. And then we shall a uh, Sycamore draw into seven more cards. We are on the search for one energy. And there we have a ton of energy. Let's put one energy on our Darkrai. Let's also try to max Alexir onto our Darkrai. This one fails. Hopefully we can hit the next one. And this one fails as well, so we are starting off a little bit slow on the energy side of things and we are going to end our turn, give our opponent a chance to do something. Uh, this might be a deck that uses Forest of Giant Plants uh, to evolve into a stage 2, a great ball from my opponent. Uh, I kind of feel a little bit bad going all out here against my opponent, uh, he's just starting out, but uh, again, this is a tournament, so... We kind of need to go for the win here. It's and I'm also recording so <laughs> If I wasn't recording I, I might just uh, give my opponent an easy win here, but uh, We want to go to the finals and hopefully find a competitive opponent there But my opponent uh, is putting the Entei down which is a pretty competitive card in some aspects with a com combat blaze It's for 20 plus 20 more damage for each of your opponent's benched Pokemon You can sometimes find that in an Entei Charizard deck, but typically you'll find the other Entei Which is a, a, a little bit more competitive. There's a Blastoise We haven't seen a single stage 2 yet, so I'm not sure what the mill tank is doing there my opponent discarded a Pyroar and a Gallade, that is a stage 2. Lots of different types in my opponent's deck, one energy on the mill tank. We are going to get hit for 10 damage. 
And there it is, the first damage from my opponent. Let's see if we can return the favor here. We do get that other Max Alex here. Um, I'm going to rush in and I'm going to power up the other Darkrai if I can. Uh, with this Max Alex here. And yes, this time the Max Alex here does hit. And then I think uh, I'm going to go with... Um, could go with an AZ. But I think I'll just hit the Sycamore, discard this Dark Patch. And see what we get here. A battle Compressor and three energies. That's a little bit uh, inconvenient. Let's discard one Lysander. Let's also discard the Getsis. And how many VS Seekers have we got left? Only one. Because we have got two in hand. Alright, that explains that. Let's then also discard the N maybe. N or the Colres. Let's go with the Colres, in Colres instead. And then it's time to retreat into our Darkrai here and hit for uh, 90. That is 10 short of a knockout. 10 short of a knockout. If my opponent mi miraculously can get out of stage 2, then he will hit us, hit us for 80 damage. But I don't think we'll see a stage 2 anytime soon. There is a rapid spin. Good forces to switch our Darkrai to the bench. But we, are, we have our Keldeo to rush in. And we can also freely retreat using Darkrai's uh, Dark Cloak. We get a Shaman. Uh, don't think I will use that Shaman. Kinda wanna license her out that Blastoise EX. I start hitting the Blastoise. And I think I will. I'm going to license the Blastoise. Because it is the biggest uh, threat on the board right now. So we shall hit for 110 damage. And he says go easy again. Yeah. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm still not knocking anything out, you know. <laughs> so... And I haven't managed to draw into my Dark Patches at all, really. Maybe I should have discarded some energies with my Battle Compressor instead of just Supporters. Probably should have. We can hit for a 30, 50 because of the Muscle Band and we get switched into our other Dark Cry. Maybe not. Uh, yeah, actually we do. Uh, I forgot that the Blastoise also switches himself. So we shall switch into our Dark Cry here. And we are going to Lysander once again. And probably try to finish off this game here. We are not going to go easy anymore. We are going to get a 3 turn prize. Or a 3 prize turn. <laughs> I said that backwards. Uh, he put 90 on the Blastoise and 30 on the Mill Tank. And there it is. 3 prizes all at once. Another Dark Cry, an energy, and what else do we get? We get a battle compressor. So I can battle compress some energies now. I have five in play, two in my hand, so there should be three left in my deck or in my prizes. And my opponent concedes the match. Isn't going to try anymore. That was a pretty easy first match. <laughs> he, our, our opponent went easy on us. <laughs> So let's 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 keep it at that, and we shall see if uh, if the other players have finished already, and they have. So we are going to go into the second round pretty soon. This is an expanded tournament for uh, which cost 89 tokens. Uh, so the tokens are uh, the coins that you see up top. Uh, I've got 3,120 of those, and the first prize is uh, three tournament tickets. The last pla the last prize is uh, 12 tokens so if you enter you still get 12 tokens back if you finish last that, that means you spend 68 tokens on the tournament no wait it costs 89 tokens that means that you spend uh, 77 tokens on the tournament and uh, not my favorite tournament to do uh, for the tournament tickets I'd rather do a tournament for booster packs, but there were no expanded tournaments online where you could win booster packs. So this one was all that was all that I could do. And in the second round, we are facing Patriarch. This time, my opponent will be playing Shaman. It seems like Shaman with uh, some water attackers or some grass attackers. And I think my opponent also got the Jirachi promo in his deck. 
we will start off with a dark ride just like we did in the last game and we get uh, not the best hands oh it's a kyogre deck that's going to be interesting yeah we definitely have we don't have the best hand we need a draw supporter we start with a petal compressor that's the most useful card in our hand i would say after uh, and then the energy uh, so hopefully we can top deck an Ultra Ball, or an N, or a Colress even. Uh, oh, my opponent is going to Ennis. Thank you very much. <laughs> that is that is very nice for my opponent. Our opponent is going to go easy on us as well here. And that is more like it. I like this a, a little bit better than the previous hand. Uh, we get an energy. Um, trainer's Mail. So I'm going to discard one energy and one Sycamore for sure. And we will grab a Hoopa if we have it. Yes, we do have the Hoopa. And then we shall uh, search out the same Pokemon as we did in the last game. We are going to search for uh, Keldeo, Darkrai and Shaman. I think... Uh, do we need to Keldeo here? Um, I'm actually not going to grab the Keldeo. I don't think my opponent is going to play any lasers. So I'm just gonna grab the Darkrai and the Shaman. That leaves us with a little bit more bench bench space uh, to work with. Uh, we'll bench the Darkrai, we'll attach an energy to the Darkrai as well. Then we'll take a look, maybe we can get a Floatstone for, for our Darkrai in the active spot. We do not, but we can get a Dark Patch, which I shall get out to power up the Darkrai. One Dark Patch coming up, and then we shall Battle Compress another energy for sure well uh, maybe not we only have six left in the deck and we want to try to hit some with max elixirs mm, no i'm just gonna i'm gonna compress one just so if we can draw into a dark patch i can use a dark patch and then i'll also compress uh, we'll also compress uh, the getsis the lysander and that is it then it's time to bench our Shaman and hopefully draw into a Floatstone. But we do not. We do get the Fighting Fury Belt and another Darkrai. Very tempting here to start powering up that Darkrai and I think I'm going to do it. I'm going to start powering up that other Darkrai, put an energy on it. Then put a Fighting Fury Belt on my Darkrai on the bench and use my last Compressor. Compress, what shall we compress here? Let's compress our Keldeo. Do we have the Floatstone in our deck even? I don't think, oh yeah we do. Keldeo, uh, Zero Seek and AZ. I'm not gonna compress the uh, any more energies. So we'll go with this. And then we shall Sycamore our hand away. Try to find the Escape Rope or the Floatstone. And we get none. Huh. That's too bad. Let's try to hit our Max Elixirs. One Max Elixir coming right up. Can we hit the second one as well? Yes, we do. Look at that. We have quite a few energies in play already. And then it's time to end our turn. In the next turn, we can AZ up the Darkrai in the active spot. And then hit for 130 damage with our Dark Pulse on this Kyogre. I don't think our opponent can one hit KO us with any of his Pokemon. So it's going to be two hit KO versus two hit KO in this match. My opponent compresses. Oh, it is Blastoise Kyogre. Interesting. Hopefully he can pull off his Blastoise. I, I hope for him. I, for me, I, I wouldn't hope so, but I would love to see how it goes here for my opponent. Have a nice match, a nice battle. There is a Caldeo from my opponent, so my opponent is going to play his own Caldeo. And Propagate, trying to reduce his hand size, bring it down to one card to use the Archie's Ace and Hole. Gets back two Executes from the discard pile, starts powering up the Caldeo. So the Caldeo can actually one hit KO our uh, Dark Rise if it has enough energy attached to it. I wasn't expecting uh, this Kyogre then in my opponent's deck. That's an interesting choice. Another Keldeo comes out to play. Yeah, this is going to be an interesting match here. 
Can we get enough energy in play to one hit KO the Caldeos? And there is the Archies for the Blastoise. Has my opponent got any energies in the discard pile? He does. One energy in the discard pile. So he could uh, super energy retrieval for that one energy, but what's the point in that really? There's not too much. Uh, there's no real point to that. I think I might promote my Darkrai with the three energies and go for a Black Spear, put 30 on the Blastoise maybe. We need to get rid of that Blastoise as soon as we can. Uh, we could actually license it out if we can find a escape rope or a floatstone from the top deck or an energy that would do it as well any of those and then we can go for a license on the blastoise an energy would be ideal because then we can one hit KO the blastoise and not a shaman and my opponent's bench is full just like that he has got 21 cards left we have 22 cards left so both of us have uh, been off to a very good start bit unfortunate that the both of us uh, started off with a Pokemon that we might not have wanted to start off with. Uh, although my opponent can switch this Kyogre to the bench with a smash turn. It's actually a pretty interesting Kyogre. I thought it was a different one, but it's got the dual splash. This attack does 50 damage to two of your opponent's Pokemon. So we could actually uh, try to target our Shaman. There is a super energy retrieval. I'm going to get back one energy and deluge it onto uh, the... Kyogre, and I think we'll see the dual splash. Yes, there is a dual splash for the Shaman. Oh no, for the uh, for the Darkrai. So he's not going to target the Shaman just yet. Uh, not just yet. And we get the Floatstone. Alright, uh, let's put that Floatstone on our uh, Darkrai. And we need to dig for an energy right now. I could... Uh, Ah, uh, that's too bad. That is too bad. We cannot one hit. Uh, we could Lysener 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 120, 130. We needed our other stadium for a knockout on that Blastoise. I could uh, try to knock out a Shaman though. Could definitely go with that. Get a knockout on Shaman. And then reduce my opponent's bench size. Maybe I should go for that. It's tempting to license out the Blastoise though. So it's either the Blastoise or the Shaman. That is going to be those are going to be our targets. And I think I will go with the. I think I will go with the Shaman. Because the Keldeo can just rush in. Uh, so. It will have to be the Shaman, yeah. We are going to knock out the Shaman and then we are going to bench our Stadium. Reduce our opponent's bench size. Uh, do we go with the, the Darkrai here? Uh, the Darkrai cannot hit for the one hit KO though, so we have to go with the other Darkrai. Gonna bench the Baby Evil Tall. And I'll bench the Stadium. Make it so that we get less damage. I think I'll actually make it face this way. So that the damage to our Pokemon is reduced by 20. Yeah, we shall go that way and we shall get rid of our Shaman and our Hoopa. The easy targets for my opponent. And then it's time to hit for the KO with our Dark Pulse for 130. Taking the first two prizes of the game. We needed that lead right now, because I think my opponent will hit for the KO on our Darkrai. I'm pretty sure we'll see a KO. He did promote the Kyogre, but he can just rush in. And N for my opponent. We had a pretty good hand, it's a little bit sad to see that N. Hopefully we can get uh, some something to power up our Pokémon even more. We get a Counter Stadium, yes, that's good. I am going to counter my own stadium I think increase my output my damage output a little bit more my opponent needs energies for his uh, Keldeo EX that's what my opponent needs Acrobike discards a trainer's mail he has zero energies in a discard pile and just a dual splash so we might actually get a knockout on this Kyogre EX we just need a couple more energies and puts 30 on the Darkrai, on the bench. 
one two three four five one hundred thirty with the stadium one hundred forty so we need two more energies in play uh, this Colres should be able to do that for us I'm going to ultra ball away at the evil tall and the Sableye, even although the evil tall is a pretty decent attacker maybe I should not do that because I could put 60 on the shame in there on the bench but I think I think I'll go with I'll go all in here try to get a knockout I'm going to get another dark cry with the dark pulse counter my stadium uh, yes we'll make it face that way and then we'll bench the dark cry and call rest for eight this should give us energies a dark patch and one energy yes this will be a knockout I think so we'll start powering up the other dark cry and no we are actually one energy short huh one two three uh, six yeah we are one energy short then I think I'm going to hit with the pitch black spear or the night spear put 30 on my opponent's shaman oh boy what do we do what do we do uh, I think I'll, I'm going to escape rope and put some damage on one of my opponent's other Pokemon or I could just retreat now I'm going to escape rope here I'm going to go with the Night Spear. Maybe I should get out another Shaman actually. Do we have another Shaman in our deck? So many possibilities. So many possibilities. If only we could get that extra energy. Whatever my opponent promotes, we can knock it out and if we can get that extra energy. I'm not sure what's happening here. Is my opponent deciding what to promote? Or is the game frozen? Uh, my internet is not disconnected. I just checked. So I think it's just deciding what to do. This is a very tough game. I need to think carefully what, what we do. Both me and my opponent. If he promotes a Caldeo, he might just lose one of his Caldeos if we can get that extra energy. And he promotes a Caldeo. And for some reason, it's my opponent's turn. That was a bug, I think. I think that was a bug in the, uh, in the game here that just happened. It, this shouldn't have passed my turn. Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna let my opponent know, uh, because <laughs> we should have been able to attack here. I'm not sure what happened there. Uh, this is going to set us back quite a bit. Oh yeah, well. That's not good. This is going to set us back quite a bit. This is going to give my opponent a knockout probably. Um, it just skipped. A uh, Lysener on our Darkrai with the Night Spear. And yeah, my opponent is going to try to knock that out. That is going to set us back quite a bit. It's going to energy retrieval. Three energies onto the Caldeo. He's going to hit for 50 and 4 times 20 is 130. That's a knockout on our Darkrai. Which doesn't have a Fighting Fury Belt attached. And we can go for a Lysander on the Shaman from our opponent and get a knockout that way. Uh, bummer. Real bummer here. Real, real bummer. Tell me this, my opponent says. I'm not sure what that means. Uh, yeah, well, I think we are experiencing a little bit of delay. I'm not sure how much. 
I could go with Sycamore here, but um, I think I'd rather go with the Lysener. Lysener out my opponent's Shaman. Yeah, that escape was indeed very long. And let's uh, take a look at uh, the trainer's mail. We get a Max Elixir. I'm going to try to hit that Max Elixir on the Darkrai on our bench. I'm going to promote the, the Darkrai that has not got any damage on it. We've got two energies in the discard pile and four in play. We should have some more in our deck. My opponent is, says send a support ticket. Yeah, I might actually have to do that. Okay. Let's see. We are one, two, three, four. We've got one more Max Legacy here somewhere. We've got five energies in play. So we are hitting for a knockout on the Shaman. Uh, let's uh, license around the Shaman and take two more prizes. Make life a little bit tougher for my opponents. What can we get from the prizes? An energy and an Ultra Ball. Excellent. That is one more energy we we will be able to use. Going to put that on my bench to Darkrai. And then we are again 120... 140, 150. Again, one energy short here. Again, one energy short of a knockout. And our opponent puts another energy on the... Uh, Kyogre is going to retreat that Kyogre is going to then super energy retrieval those four energies and that's uh, 160 8 times 20 is 160 plus 50 is 210 that is not enough to knock out our Darkrai that is not enough my opponent needs to find one more energy attach one more energy from his hand so he needs to attach five energies to the Keldeo in the active spot if he wants to knock out our Darkrai he is going all in here. And there it is, 8 energies. Does he have a ninth one? He has 9 energies. That is it. That is the KO. Tropical Beach, Secret Sword for the knockout. We are in a bad spot right now. Uh, for sure, in a bad spot. Let's promote our Darkrai without... Or uh, that doesn't have any energy or the one energy attached to it. And then we could Tropical Beach. Um, what can we do? We need to find a VS Seeker for a Lysander, but I think we've already used all the VS Seekers that we have available to us. Uh, so we cannot Tropical Beach because then my opponent is going to knock us out with that Caldeo. We need a Lysander of some sort right here. We need a Miracle Turn. Or we could try to attack with the baby evil tall and hope my opponent doesn't have a Lysander of his own. What has my opponent used? Three VS Seekers, so he has one more VS Seeker somewhere. Hopefully he cannot find that VS Seeker. We are just one energy short here. For a, a Darkness Blade. Tough call, tough call. I'm going to have to retreat into this Evil Tall. Should have uh, done that earlier and Max Elixir onto the Evil Tall on our bench. Because now I'm going to lose those two energies. Yeah, we have to hit for the Oblivion Wing. I could put this... Um, Fighting Fury Belt on the Baby Evil Tall, but what's the point in that? Because it will get knocked out nonetheless or regardless. I retreat into the Kyogre and a super energy retrieval from my opponent. Is he going to power up the other Keldeo? Uh, just gets back two energies and is going to maybe smash turn. Wait a bit. Uh, oh, Shaman. Wow. That is an easy target for us. Can we find our Lysander in the next turn? And there is a VS Seeker for a Lysander. Never mind. My opponent found his VS Seeker. That is going to be GG. So we lost against Keldeo. 
because our turn was passed. If my turn wasn't passed, I think we would have won the game. That is uh, just... <laughs> that is sad. There is no other word for it. We lost the game because of a bug in the PTCGO. We lost the tournament or we lost our chance for going to the finals that way. Darkrai EX MVP versus Caldeo EX biggest attack 140 versus 230 for my opponent's cards drawn 42 versus 41. And that is going to be it for me today. Leave a like if you enjoyed the battles and if you enjoyed the glitches of the PTCGO and subscribe to my channel for more PTCGO glitches and I'll see you next time. Carp, carp, carp. Carp, 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 carp,